Hey, I'm Sir Taptap, and welcome to Let's Play Steriden, a pixel S studio game. Review copy of this game is provided by the developer. This is a roguelike shoot 'em up. That is kind of as weird as it sounds, but uh, it works pretty well. Um, it ends up very, very difficult, as you might expect. It doesn't really have a story, but I mean. The ship blows up and your ship survives, and being a tiny ship, you of course are way stronger than this larger ship ever was. I love that CRT effect we've got here, by the way. Fortunately, it doesn't persist long, but uh, yeah. So, everything you see here is procedurally generated. Um, the enemies and everything are, of course, you know, manually made. It's not random, it's procedural. Uh, one, there's a few issues with the generation I'll try and mention here. One of them being whether you get an, an item or not, or like a weapon like I've got here, very, very inconsistent. I, I can go an entire level without seeing one, sometimes I'll see like two in a row. The bosses are kind of random. The bosses have patterns, and all the patterns are of course manually designed. I really like how fun this gun is. So this boss is... Like, they have a bunch of different patterns they have. I think there might be, like, a preset combinations of patterns. But which one you get... You know, you won't be able to know which one you'll get. Uh oh Man, you're taking forever to die, aren't you? You can tell how much health they have by the little... Crap. I went down too fast. By the little things they make. The, um... Skulls. The yellow one... Actually, I'm not entirely sure what health percent. I think... I want to say the first yellow one appears at like 50% health. Then there's an orange one at like way less than that. And then there's a red one when they're like moments from death. I'm not entirely sure how these upgrades work to be quite honest the the wording and explanations just kind of confuse me like i'm pretty sure these only affect the energy weapons which are blue i've also seen contact like i'm not entirely sure what some of the weapon types are i've just i haven't actually seen um the bot type for one like, I haven't seen some of the en weapon type. I think the way it works is that, you know, the energy power-ups only affect the energy stuff, so what we got there increases the drop rate for weapon types. It's just, it's just kind of weird how they're phrased. Like, the weapon we have now is a bullet type. Bullets. I think it actually says bullets on the power-up, so I was very confused by that at first. Rockets. Uh, I think we want to get rid of the blaster. You start off with the blaster at all times. Um, you can you carry two different weapons. I've got the stasis gun here and rockets. And I'm not entirely sure how they class different weapons. It seems kind of arbitrary in some senses, like the heavy weapon. I mean, just seems. I don't know, it just seems to be stuff that doesn't fit in the other categories, honestly. The lasers are definitely lasers. I haven't... I've only seen a couple lasers, I think. Actually, maybe just one? I've played maybe 10 plus attempts at this game, and uh, I've seen very few of the weapons, to be quite honest. Um, I haven't gotten super far either. I've gotten past the second boss a couple times, that's as far as I've gotten. I kind of honestly doubt I'll be getting that far, like past two, boss two. Wait, this is boss two. Um, maybe I will get past boss two then. Um, but I, I won't get super far is what I'm trying to say. Or maybe I'll just... I've already jinxed myself perhaps and I'm just gonna die on this one, who knows. See? We're going... we're well on our way to dying. I'm very good at that. Why am I not using the long range rockets? Also, certain weapons slow you down while you're firing them. That was really close, by the way. We have health, as you can see up there. I was very close to death. 
Yeah, here's what I'm talking about, about confusing. Increased collision damage. For one thing, it says damages. Uh, so, increased collision damage. I'm not sure what that means. I'm Like, does that mean me hitting an enemy ship? Because that's not a good way to deal damage. And then there's contact. I'm pretty sure that's weapons for, like, there's a contact that's a, there's this weapon that's a giant bear trap that you close on enemies, and that's pretty fantastically amazing. Uh, and we're actually going to pick that up just in hopes that we see that, because I really want to show that off. It's really cool. Does less good damage, too. You'll notice we actually got a weapon, or an item that increased drop rate, and we um, still didn't see that weapon type. We actually didn't see any weapon type in that level. That's one of the things I'm not really a big fan of. The actual weapon drops seem quite rare and inconsistent at that. Also, I'm not sure how much damage is dealt. Like, I just took extra... Like, I took more than one damage there, didn't I? So that's... I'm never sure how much health I have, really. Like, how much effective health. Also, you can see at the bottom right there, there's a sort of objective. It's usually just to clear the wave that you're currently on. That will increase the, uh... Oh, there was a drop, but I missed it. But yeah, that will increase your multiplier at the top right there for your score. Also, if you might have noticed, there's different styles of levels, so like, there'll be meteor showers, there'll be asteroid fields, there'll be ship wreckage, like, that you flow through. Um, oh crap. Depending on- ugh. Certain bosses are way easier with certain weapons. This one, with, uh, the super gun- or no, the hyper gun. They're different. With the hyper gun, this one was very easy. But, uh, because you could take down the rockets without, you know, focusing on the rockets. But now I have to, you know, pay a bit more attention. Ah, speaking of paying attention. So, honestly, that's pretty much where all of my runs tend to end. But we'll give this one more shot. And so there's a nice variety of... I'm pretty sure the basic, the first level is always this basic easy level, uh, but later on you'll have like, there's one where lasers rain from the sky and you just had to keep moving, and you could see like the trail of where the laser is going to go. That one's pretty cool. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> but yeah, these things are the car- these cargo ships carry the weapons. Oh crap. Jaw! Yes, that's the one! Nice. I love this one. Om nom 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 nom. I hope I haven't doomed myself, because I don't think you're... You're supposed to have gone away from that. I don't think the shield's ever going to break. This is kind of bad, actually. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna have to take that hit. Oh, that's why level wasn't progressing. Oh, there's little random quotes attributed to each of the bosses. Those are just random, too. As you can see, this deals crazy damage. Look at that! I love this thing. It's super dangerous, but it's totally worth it. Anytime I see extra health from these, uh, these are all random too, like... Laser slow instead of hurting. Like, see, I'm not sure what the laser slow instead of hurting thing does. Like, which... Enemy lasers? My lasers? I'm just never sure what some of these do. I definitely don't need reload time here. There's also some other thing, like, I think part of this is just because there's a lot of stuff I haven't seen, and, but I'm not sure, oh, here's the asteroid belt one I was talking about. Asteroid belts are different from meteor showers. Yeah, the asteroid belt is a ton of asteroids floating around really close. Meteor showers are moving projectiles that are actually easier to get around, but like, faster and you have to think when you dodge, but in this case there's just a ton of crap constantly around you. Ah, crap. Homing missiles! You can kind of ditch your blaster almost immediately. There's very few weapons that aren't better than the blaster. Though we're just gonna stick with this incredibly risky weapon that's way fun. So, oh, uh, you might have noticed the game's early access, as is mentioned on the uh, title screen. Ah, 
I guess in terms of the weapon description polish, maybe it is, you know, clear that this is an early access title and could use some help in that regard. But uh, in terms of gameplay and visuals, really feels way more polished than early access might lead you to believe. Of course, whenever I play early access stuff, I'm playing something that's like reasonably polished. I wouldn't bother to show it otherwise. And honestly, I think this game would show off better with if I were like doing a live stream, like to show you, you know, a longer session. But uh, I'm really waiting for YouTube gaming to take off before bothering with that. I'm not sure if. Oh hell yes. <clears throat> I'm not sure if, like 100% sure it'll be better than Twitch, but uh, the preview stuff they had of it, the um, you know the screenshots and stuff they showed, looked pretty good. You know, since it looks like an actual designer touched stuff. Oh, and I love these little chainsaw ships. Those are so incredibly practical and reasonable. I love it. I'm not entirely sure what the deal is with those shields. They seem to just go off. At least for these ships, they disappear, and hitting them before they disappear just doesn't seem to do anything. Is that a... what was in that? Stop that, I want to look. Impaler? I have to get that, I'm sorry. Oh, that's what reload time for, okay. So yeah, with this thing we have like a burst and we have to wait for the reload. Um, I honestly would have kept my homing missiles if I hadn't uh, been forced to make a quick choice there. Ow, ow, ow. I love this thing, but I'm not super great at it because it's super risky. Ah. So yeah, the game is not easy. Um, I don't believe there's any difficulty options. So you just sort of have to suffer through it, but you know. Combo of roguelike and shoot 'em up was not bound to be easy. Has anyone made a roguelike that is not that was like designed to be beaten even like the first playthrough, like not focused on difficulty at all? That could be sort of interesting. I wonder how you'd like try to design that to be interesting though. Oh, there's also some other modes, like there's a daily run- ah. Yeah, that was a really bad combo of weapons. Um, we got a really stylish opening there. Um, so there's also an arena, which is just you versus a boss. And you can fight any kind of boss that you've beaten. And you can use any kind of weapon that you've picked up. So like, um, what was that guy with the big laser? Wait, I've seen that, but it's apparently locked. Huh. They yeah, say we wanted to rematch with this guy and we wanted to show off the- oops. I forgot to change my weapons. Okay. Let's go back to the menu. Oh, this game has real good controller support too. I'm using my DualShock 4 without X input and it works perfectly fine. It doesn't show the PlayStation buttons, but uh... Oh, I accidentally picked the daily run. But let's try the, the daily run then. The daily run, you only get one shot at per day, which is a neat way to do it. So, practice. The, the interesting thing about this combination of roguelike and shoot 'em up is that memorization is generally a huge part of scoring high in games like that. But it won't work in this game, because you'll never be able to memorize anything. Well, you'll be able to memorize the specific, the, 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 the specific ways bosses can attack and, like, enemies, but you can't memorize, you know, wave per wave stuff, so that's interesting. Also featured in the game. This seems kind of short. As you can tell, this weapon and many others slow me way the heck down when I'm shooting. And it's not just heavy weapons that do that. Like, the stasis gun, I don't believe, slows you down at all. I'm really not sure what the heavy status is all about. Like, this is just a bullet-type gun. In theory, I like the, um, the power-ups that change 
oh, I'll get more laser weapons. But the problem with that is that you see weapon drops so crazy rarely that it doesn't really feel like it's a very good investment. Though on the plus side, it increases drop and damage, so... I still tend to favor, like, trying to focus on a specific weapon type for a playthrough, which that's a fun way to play through roguelikes. Breakthrough shields, that's very nice. More combo wave. I think I'm gonna go for more con cargo. Cargo are those ships that have our guns, so hopefully we'll see more guns this run. We've had really bad luck with weapon drops, though. And that's the one thing... Uh, well, that's probably the major thing that makes it not feel like a traditional design shoot 'em up is that you'll be seeing lots of weapons in a traditional shoot 'em up at you know good intervals, but in this, you know, there's really rare and it's kind of weird. Ah, I always get my controls mixed up for uh, switching weapons and picking them up. I should probably map them to more different things. Oh, this weapon has a cooldown if you overheat. Let's see, we haven't seen a weapon like that before. There's lots of different types of weapons. Uh, oops. I'm not used to this weapon. I've only... I think I've only used this once before. I use this one. I use... I see the laser a lot. I saw this one, like, once. I kind of wish you could just practice. I guess that's what the arena's for. You can just practice the weapons with those. It's not quite the same as like having a fixed run with like, you know, starting off weapons or anything. I like that pattern. It's all hypnotic. It's also incredibly easy, but it's hypnotic all the less. Nonetheless, whatever. Pretty. You were an oddly easy boss. Goodbye. All right, what do you got for me? Faster one, so I can just come on. I guess faster reloads maybe would be good for our plasma gun. <laughs> One thing is I never feel the score ones are worth it because I'm not good enough for high score runs to really feel meaningful. I mean, until I can one credit clear a game, I never really feel really like going for score unless there's incentives like uh, when score unlocks stuff. Or like pre-populated leaderboards with actual scores, not like a baby sleeping on the controller will bleat those high scores. I hate when they do that, that's just boring. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this better than the Mega Gun. The Mega Gun... Oh, maybe I should drop the Plasma though. Nah. Eh. I, I really don't have favorite weapons yet, aside from the... The laser is pretty nice and the... What is that thing? Ow. I should probably look when I move. Uh, what was I talking about? The the bear trap. That is amazing. That gets me hurt. I'm gonna beat you. How much health do I have? Okay, this could be bad. But damn it! I'm so bad with these. With I need a better gun for the rockets. Holy crap! Okay. Okay. All is well now. The rockets... okay, that's better. Okay, three of those... four. Four of those. He's gonna do the big laser next! Okay. That wasn't so hard, Tap Tap, now was it? What is your problem? Okay. Okay, that's not a big deal deal with this. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. No. Please die. Please die. I just want to kill you once. Please. Just, just do it for me. 
Do it for the fans, okay? Okay, you're gonna die? Is this a deal? Yes, okay. He accepted my deal. Phew, I need to practice that thing. Okay. See, if I, like, get collision invulnerability and increase collision damage, like... Actually, I'm sorry, mini rocket sounds way too awesome. But, like, if I get those two power-ups, can I, like, just ram into ships like crazy and just avoid bullets? I'm just not entirely sure how that works. Oh, nice. It, like, it just doubles my fire rate, basically. That's welcome. Also, I love the visual style of this. The big, chunky pixels, and it's not, like... It's not trying too hard to be NES retro or anything. It just has its own nice little style. Oh god. Lasers. Also, I love the look of the big-ass lasers. I'm a big sucker for those super-wide, ridiculously impractical, probably physically impossible lasers like that. And the, the little frames where they, like, fade in and out... I just love those lasers. I will marry those lasers one day. Believe you me. I was expecting to die horribly in the uh, daily run, not to do pretty much the best I've ever done. So this is kind of surprising. I see you, Parker. I see you planning to jump on the desk. Please don't. Well, those things are rude. I kind of want to get rid of the plasma gun. It's not doing me many favors. So yeah, the game's still in early access, so a couple things I would like... More frequent weapon drops, I say, as there are like three on screen at once. Um, that I'm like unable to freaking get. Okay. Why is it called mini rockets? It just seems like it doubles the uh, fire rate. It doesn't really feel like mini rockets. Um, so yeah, more drop rate, much better descriptions. Oh crap, this looks bad. Oh man, I like that pattern. That was cool. I'm a big fan of pretty bullet patterns, even when they murder, murder me. Oh crap, okay. Homing, definitely preferred. Homing is very nice because it is one of very few things that can hit while you're doing dodging like this, which makes certain waves and attacks way more handleable. Oh yeah, one more thing that I think the game could probably benefit from is the uh, difficulty modes. Shoot 'em ups almost always have difficulty modes, so it's kind of weird for one, especially like a roguelike super hard one, to be missing one. But maybe that's planned. I, I honestly didn't go to see if there were, like, um, you know, development plan, like, what they had planned next. I'm not really too big on early access games. I, I play them if somebody, like, gives me a review code, but I don't tend to get too big on... Ow! Aw, oh, come on! Well, that was just embarrassing. Though, the best thing I can say about the, uh... Oh, hey. 39. That's not bad, maybe. I guess it depends on how many people are playing. I got... What was I gonna sh I was showing you the arena when I accidentally did good. Ugh. See, so yeah, if we wanted to do a rematch with this guy, and we wanted to try out... The Impaler... See, one, one thing I actually really like about this is that I haven't unlocked these because I haven't picked them up. And so that makes me really want to play the game until I actually unlock all of these, even if it's just in this arena mode. Though I would really like a mode where I could like pick weapons to start off with, even if it's like an unranked or something. Like, because a lot of these weapons, like I've never seen a bot or a shield weapon yet. But anyway, say I wanted to try out the hyper gun and the laser on this jerkwad here. This is a nice way to get practice for bosses, too. But it also lets you practice weapons, or just give yourself a time trial, I guess. Okay, this is not working out very well. 
Oh yeah, this is the hyper gun just completely destroys these rockets that come after you. Very nice. Right. So I guess the bosses are actually... <sighs> I knew that was coming, and I still fell for it. But I guess the bosses, you can completely know what they're gonna do. So it'd be very good to practice all of the bosses. Though you have to beat them once to unlock practice mode, so that's a neat little... ...incentive to actually play the game properly first. Not that I'm familiar with being able to do that. And I guess... Super play. I guess that must be just a video of them playing really well. That's what super plays usually are. And yeah, there's score stuff. I don't tend to be super into scores. Yeah, there's me at number 457. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. But yeah, that is Steradin. It is pretty sweet.